Richard, can you describe what happened in the coroner's court today? Yes, Colette, this verdict uh, given to a packed courthouse here at Limerick Coroner's Court in Kilmallock. Death by medical misadventure ruled by the coroner, John McNamara, not contested by the HSE or by the UL Hospital Group. He said there were systemic failures, there were missed opportunities, there were communications breakdowns throughout. He said uh, Aoife should have been treated in a timely manner. Now, it comes after four days of gruelling evidence for the Johnston family, for Carol and James, Aoife's parents, for Megan and Kate, her sisters, and for the wider Johnston family who sat behind and stood with the Johnstons throughout all of this process. They sobbed at the verdict, a huge day for them, but one of huge emotion. It's terrifying. I'd, I'd be terrified to go in there myself or if the girl, my own other children had to go in again. Oh. And that's really a sad state of affairs. Like, So we brought Aoife where we told her she would be looked after. But she wasn't. We told her she was in the best place. Try and get some rest, Eva. Get some rest. You're in the, the best doctors place. will be here soon, and the doctors never came. The most amazing sister ever, and I. It kills me all the time. I never got to say goodbye to her. When I got that call, Eva was already gone. <laughs> like I thought she was going to be okay, and then the next morning to get a call that she's in ICU. I don't know what to do. Like that's my baby sister. And we never get to see her again. Mr John McNamara, uh, the coroner, outlining major concerns he said he has with the UHL emergency department referred to today by an emergency consultant as a death trap on an ongoing basis. He says he's concerned about the situation as a native of Limerick. Uh, he says there is ongoing overcrowding. Uh, he said that this is not acceptable to people who use that service in this region. Uh, that evidence came at the end of what has been a very difficult process for the Johnston family. This inquest has been traumatic for the Johnston family. Over the last four days, they have relived the final hours of their 16-year-old daughter at University Hospital Limerick and their frantic pleas to staff to help Aoife as she waited to be seen on two chairs fashioned into a makeshift bed. Aoife's dad, James, said he roared at staff to help his daughter as other patients on trolleys pleaded with nurses to see Aoife ahead of them. Aoife's mum, Carol, said they watched their daughter die and that she wouldn't wish that on anyone. Consultant on call, Dr James Gray, described this as a situation of no dignity, no privacy, no decency and an abuse of human rights. He said the emergency department was a death trap that weekend in December 2022 and agreed it still is a death trap to this day. Other witnesses said the ED where Aoife Johnston and her parents waited was like a war zone. Two former staff members have said the events of that weekend were instrumental in their decision to leave their jobs, one saying she was professionally and personally broken by what had happened to Aoife. The inquest heard that despite presenting with suspected sepsis, she waited 15 hours and 15 minutes for life-saving antibiotics. A number of witnesses told the coroner if these had been administered in a timely manner, there would have been a very different outcome. For the Johnstons, this inquest has brought many tears and much pain. Every day, two photos of Aoife have stood at the top of the court, making sure everyone present could see her at all times. The Johnston family now have answers, but they will live with the consequences of that weekend every day for the rest of their lives. Well, those present in court paying tribute to the dignity of the Johnston family, including their solicitor, uh, Damien Tanzi, saying they've carried themselves impeccably throughout this process. The coroner making similar comments as well. We have a statement uh, from the chief executive of the HSE in response to the verdict in this inquest. He says, I would like to express our heartfelt sympathy to Aoife's family and friends for the pain and suffering they have experienced because of Aoife's death while in our care. Uh, he says he will now take the time to consider the outcome uh, of the inquest and the next steps. He says he knows that we have considerable work to do in the HSE to ensure that the people of the Midwest, all 425,000 of them, and the staff of University Hospital Limerick have a service they can feel confident in and proud of. He says the HSE is working to that end.